let's do Stinger Prawn. We're going to start with uh, Aquafly's Return Eye 43mm shank, and we'll be doing the Ultra Rig on this one. So I'm going to start our thread. Run it to the rear. Create a good thread base. I've got my Power Pro. Loop on the hook. This is a Aqua Talon number two. easiest way I've found is to take your scissors and just kind of measure the length of the tubing with the tips something like that and you can take your tubing without moving your tips and measure it tubing run the power pro through if it wants to cooperate here I just want to get a fresh cut here of scrap tubing you got around for two plies running over that point on this top I don't like to skip around too much throw these to the through the eye now it gets a little wonky on you that's okay just you may want to twist to the side dog's board This is the uh, red UVI stub. This is the 
This isn't the long, solid color I stub. This is the red UV. And the last one's going to go on a bit sloppy. So I can pick it out a bit. Fox over the top. And this is going to be just to the hook and a little bit past. And some schlappen. This is fuchsia. I'm going to tie this in tip first. Cool. I'm going to add a little bit of pearl crystal flash. And this is like four or five strands. I'm going to leave this long. I'm going to cut it after. tie in the hackle tips. And hackle tips. One on either side. Natural grizzly on this one. You could do pink. That's fine too. And we're going to have it extend past the hook a ways. So we'll go about there. That looks good. these up exactly this thing's got hammered I had a little moth issue this summer I think these are the last two grizzly hackle tips I have that aren't totally chewed these ones are a little chewed unfortunately on either side and I want to try to get them pretty straight up and down. I don't want them flat. I want them pretty vertical. Massage this a bit. No, it's not going to work. Alright, so these are one of the many. There we go. 
many minor frustrations in flight time. It's getting your hackle tips all the way you want them. So I'm just going to trim the crystal flash now. So that's done. Alright. Now for a little pink golden pheasant action for our topper. Go about there. Two feathers. Right on top. Alright. Now we're going to flip this around. I'm going to tie in just a little pink collar of ostrich hair on the bottom side. to the hook point, just a little bit past the hook point. And if you take your time, you can kind of lay them out to where they're spread out pretty evenly. And if you get one crazy, you can just kind of run your thumb and forefinger down it and get it to move the way you want. Let's take a look here. Alright, flip her back. Last step here will be the eyes. And if I can find them, I'm going to use the Aqua Ultra Eyes. And show trues. Pretty short, about to the hook eye. And these guys are going to want to lash down quite a ways. This mono can be pretty slippery. If you have any questions on whether they're going to slip, you can always zap a gap your thread or just give the eyes a pull. And if they don't go anywhere, you're in good shape. Finish that out. Okay. First thing. Um, we're going to have two stages, two more stages. We're going to have a stage here and, and a stage up front with the kind of shell back pheasant fibers. I'm um, looking for my rib. There we go. So my ribbing is going to be the SSS hollow braid that I'm going to twist into an oval. I'm going to tie it on the underneath of the fly. Now I'm going to tie in another piece of schlop and tip first. This one's a bit stiffer. It's almost like a saddle really, but not. It, it's still webby. Okay. Dubbing. You can do this whole thing and rib it all at once and hackle it all at once. I have found that to be a nightmare. Um, so I'm going to stage this out and tie the back first and then the front in two separate stages just because I find it a lot easier to not have to manipulate the pheasant feathers and 
Management. You'll see what I mean. So laying down some dubbing. Take my scissors. Push all these fibers to the rear. Hackle this. Pretty sparse, four wraps. instead of ribbing the whole thing I'm just gonna do it in two stages so this I'm just gonna twist into an oval I can see we're oval up I'm gonna reverse wrap this and wiggle it through I'm gonna have to keep kinda twisting it as we move through here if you give it some wiggles, it will kind of find its way in between these fibers and it won't collapse them nearly as bad and trap feathers, fibers underneath the ribbing. And I like to stop, if I can, up top here because the, uh, the pheasant fibers that we put over the top will kind of cover our tie-off point and it will make, make it look nice and clean. this just a quick little comb. This isn't necessary to pick up dubbing, it's just to help the hackles stand up. A little proud. So right now we're going to throw in some rubber legs. And we're going to go on either side, but on the bottom side colors match these are the crazy tipped or hot tipped crazy legs in pink and pearl tie these guys in and then for now I'm just gonna leave them in the back here if they stay Shell back. Measure it out. Two feathers. I'm going to put them both together. Put it right on top. Push it down. Get my wraps in. I should let make them stay right up top, just like that. Section 2, ribbing on the bottom. Schlopping. Second feather is going to be bigger.
a little bit more here. feathers back, spread it out, and I like to have some of this webbiness and webby that is that's what I want exactly give our holographic braid a little twist reverse wrap it's a little tougher with the webbier hackle get it all kind of in between but if you just kind of keep popping it and fluffing it it will go okay we're on top give it a tie down Churl collar. And when I do this, it's not a ton. We're at two, four, six, eight, ten, about twelve individual fibers. Measured out about halfway into the rear ostrich. Pinch it surround the bottom of the fly, so it's a full 180. Loose wrap, a couple of tight wraps, and we can take our thumb and forefinger and just kind of spread it around to make sure we get good, even coverage. Okay, now for our securing wraps here. Yeah, that's probably one too many. Clip it nice and close. Maybe flip over. So I'll show you a little trick here. For all these, that's just coming. For all these little uh, wispies and stuff. Take my bodkin, you see we're a little black on the top. Take your lighter and heat it up. It's good to have a sacrificial bodkin around. With that nice and hot, you can just kind of touch the edges. And it cleans it up pretty nice. And hoo hoo hoo. I'm not using Vivas. I just cauterized my my thread. So that can happen too. That was pretty funny. Alright, no harm, no foul. Alright, more rubber.
Mm. Again on the bottom. Oh boy. Are you bored? Okay. Give your clip. Move them back. Normally, I would take some like lead wire and wrap it around and keep these legs out of the way, but it's fairly manageable at the moment. And we're going to run some longer feathers this time. Kind of get a baseline here. still be a bit long but we'll see yeah we're a bit long German Shepherd owners will know all about those noises that you're hearing in the background okay we're gonna just lay this over the top that looks pretty good just like that push it down Okay, I've got about six good wraps. Looks pretty good there. Nice and flat. Ooh, I see. I've made too many thread wraps, so we got to deal with this now. How to save your fly 101. Just come back to it nice and slow, as tight of wraps as you can get away with here. Recheck. Okay. Okay, whip finish, and pull it nice and tight, clip, and I'm going to go with fluorescing UV. This is kind of a pain, I lost my little a little tip so I don't have the just to spread it around I guess with the uh, freaking infinity light It's time to clip our legs. I am going to first clip, go back about halfway, we'll say two thirds of the way into my hackle tips. Actually, we'll do that with all of them. Two thirds into the hackle tips. And these guys I can just match up. Alright, there we have it. Stew Stinger Prone. Um, 
you'll get a we'll get a better picture of it here. Uh, it's pretty tough to see it in all of its glory uh, in the actual vise, but we'll run this we'll rig this ultra rig kit here real quick for you. Pop it out of the shank tool. Pull everything back. This one's gonna be kind of tough to see because of all the garbage in the way here, but I'm gonna do my best. So this plastic or nylon or whatever silicone tube is just gonna pop over the shank and get pushed down. Just like that. Stew's Stinger Prawn. Pretty awesome bug. Mm -hmm.